And welcome back. Despite having been cleared and released from hospital over two weeks ago, Jamaica Scorpions left arm spinner Dennis Bulai says he still has lingering effects from contracting COVID-19. Jordan Fort has part two of this story. Having recounted what he called a life-threatening experience with COVID-19 in part one of this story on Tuesday, Jamaican left arm spinner Dennis Bulai says he still experiences some amount of psychological trauma associated with having had the virus. The 33-year-old says he has now become overly cautious as a result. Even when I just got out, I was so scared of outside. It took me like five days or six days after them say I can go outside to go outside because my parents and everything. My mother, my mother pressure me hard. You need to leave the house. You need to come outside. You need to see you. I know my son is here with me and I try to social distance from him to stay with me because that's all serious. I take it. My brother said I take it too serious. I spray him up when he come here. Anybody sometimes when it just just happened. I was worse than this. Bulai admitted that he was cavalier in his attitude towards the virus, and as such, he hasn't been able to pinpoint where he may have contracted it. I trace it like a thousand times, trying to find out where I got it from. And nobody that I was around had it. Nobody that I was around at the time when I, when I supposedly have it didn't catch it from me because my son was here the entire time with me. And he did I don't him, him, he did a test because they said it, um, all the people that was around me have to do a test. He did a test and it came up negative. He still had to quarantine for 14 days also. He's quite fine, he's quite healthy. So nobody, I don't know where it come from. To be honest, I don't know where. His positive test also affected two other players' chances of taking part in this year's Caribbean Premier League as countrymen Jevo Royal and Andre McCarthy had to be withdrawn from the Jamaica Talawas squad as they were deemed close contacts. I spoke to them, they called me, they messaged me and, you know, well, at first I felt really bad saying, you know, they've been training very hard and wanted this. And I felt really bad, but when I heard from them, I mean, it felt really good to know that they are encouraging, encouraging me, saying me to get better. And, and, and I spoke to them about it and it, it, it's like, I mean, they're disappointed, but I think they wanted me to get better more than anything, which I really appreciate that. Bulai was supposed to have represented the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots at the tournament, and he says he has also gotten support from his franchise. Um, the owner of the CPL team, he called me, called me a few times as well, and he said he's saying that I must feel disappointed because it's a natural cause, and, and they didn't have control over what happened. And he was, uh, he was even saying to me that if there's anything that I need, um, I should um, ask him for it, which I didn't need anything at the time. I just needed my help. And, um, oh, they gave me my jerseys as well. So I'll be getting my, my jersey. So still, I still feel welcome, like a part of the team. The left arm Chinaman Bola says he is now feeling much better and is looking forward to resuming his training in the coming weeks. Coach Andre Collins said um, he wants to rest somewhere, which is in the middle of September because we have Zoom training now. So they want me to join, join the squad and Zoom and do some physical activity. But for now I'm just walking, doing my little thing. But I don't I feel strong. I feel stronger than before. I think my body needed some rest. Jordan Fort, TVJ Sports.